A new Clash Royale update is coming really soon, like within the next few weeks or so. And I'm confident that this is going to be one of the biggest updates in Clash Royale history. And so in this video, I'm going to be predicting what this update is going to bring to Clash Royale. And let me tell you, I think it's going to be pretty huge. Also, a quick reminder to leave a like and subscribe if you're new because I make very high quality Clash Royale content. And I think you'd enjoy it if you subscribe. So really quick, let's revisit the past two Clash Royale updates that happened in 2021. The first update was the Magic Items update in which we got all the different Magic Items items in Clash Royale. Then after that, we had the June update. Now, I don't really have a good name for this update, but it introduced a lot of good things to Clash Royale, like gold crates, two new arenas, a new card, the Goblin Drill, and also some fixes to Clan Wars. And both of these updates were directed towards improving progression, which is something that Clash Royale definitely needed. And since these issues were addressed in an effective manner with these two updates, I think this next update is going to be something completely different. And I think it's going to be something we've all been waiting for, a new gameplay mechanic. Clash Royale's last attempt at a new gameplay mechanic was the touchdown game mode in which there were no towers at all and that update was a long time ago and since then we haven't had anything else that's changed the way we actually play clash royale but i'm a firm believer that with this upcoming update that's gonna change so let me go over some of the things that i think clash royale will implement and quick disclaimer real quick just keep in mind that these are just my own predictions and that none of this is actually official or going to actually happen so here has been a concept thrown around in the Clash Royale community for a very long time, and I think this update is where we finally see them implemented into the game. To be honest, it's kind of the consensus across the Clash Royale community that the hero's idea has kind of died down and that we're probably not going to see them, but I think this update is where we're going to get them. And let me explain why that's the case. I feel like heroes are a concept too game-changing not to implement into Clash Royale. Adding heroes would completely shake up the somewhat sale meta, and it would change the game forever. So I think with Clash Royale needing something like that, that, this is the best chance that we're going to get heroes in Clash Royale. And really quick, if you don't know where the concept of heroes comes from, it comes from the other Supercell game, Clash of Clans. And there are four different heroes that you can unlock through the different town halls that each have their own unique ability that can help enhance the battle. So here's how I will think that heroes will be implemented. What? Heroes are gonna be in a tier above legendary cards and they're gonna have their own unique rarity and levels. You'll still have eight cards to be able to use in the deck, but you'll have an additional slot that can be utilized for one hero per match. So in a way, it's kind of like you have nine cards. Heroes will have their own elixir bar that will fill up three times slower than the normal elixir bar. And this rate of elixir flow won't change for double or triple elixir. It'll be constant throughout the entire match. They will have a limited amount of uses per game. So it's gonna be really important that you use them in an effective manner. Each hero will have its own special ability that can be used once per turn while it's played in the arena. And I do think that there will be multiple heroes, but I believe that this update will only come with one, so that way they can release the other heroes in between updates. So that way it adds some freshness to the game when we're not expecting content for a while. And I expect that for this update, it would be something like the Barbarian King, because that's the first hero you get in Clash of Clans, or something along those lines. Again, kind of an unpopular opinion, but I do think that heroes will be coming in this update. Again, this is another concept that has existed for a while in the Clash Royale community, and I think that it could come within this update. Basically, what these tower abilities would be is they would be special abilities that your Princess and King Towers would have that can be used multiple times throughout the match, and they also have a cooldown. So with these tower abilities, how would you unlock them? As you get a higher King Tower level, you would unlock more tower abilities. So they would be free as long as you level up your King Tower. And here's a few concepts that I have of what tower abilities might be. An ability that doubles the attack speed of your tower for 10 seconds. An ability that burst heals your tower for 200 HP. An ability where for five seconds, your towers do splash damage. An ability that instantly gives you three additional elixir. On second thought, that last one's probably a little too overpowered. It would still be cool though. These are just some basic concepts of tower abilities that I thought of, but hopefully you all get the gist. And I think these would be a great addition to Clash Royale, as they would make matches a whole lot more interesting and add a whole different level of strategy. So out of heroes and tower abilities, which one do I think is more likely? I'm personally of the belief that tower abilities are more likely to come with this update. Heroes as a concept are extremely cool and would definitely change Clash Royale forever, but I feel like balancing the strength of them with the normal cards in Clash Royale would be an incredibly difficult difficult task. And because of that, you know, the community would get outraged as they tend to do with, you know, unbalanced cards. And so because of that, I think tower abilities are definitely a safer option. And I mean, they would still bring an incredible level of strategies to the game that Clash Royale has never seen before, but it wouldn't be to the same degree as heroes. And again, there is a chance that we can see both of these within this update, but I think only one of them is likely to be honest. And if I had to pick one, I would pick tower abilities. Now let's talk about some other things I think will be coming to this update. 
So let's talk about the training camp. I bet some of you even forgot that this was a feature in Clash Royale because no one ever uses it. It's been the exact same for over five and a half years as long as Clash Royale has been out and really it just serves no purpose. So I think the training camp could definitely be reworked to something like the Brawl Stars training camp. You know, an area where you can test out the card's abilities, you can test out how much DPS you can get with a card in certain combos and what strategies will work best for you. I think having an area like this would be incredibly cool for content and testing card stats and stuff like that. So I would really love to see something like this added to the game. Then we're going to talk about the card level boost. Clash Royale has recently been sending out polls to the entire Clash Royale community, allowing them to vote on which card level boost they want for the particular week. And I think this same concept will be implemented in the Clash Royale permanently, potentially. I think we're still going to get the monthly card level boost that Clash Royale decides, but I think on a week by week basis, you yourself will be able to choose what card level you want boosted. So it's not exactly what they're doing with the community right now, but I think this way would actually be better because it's on a player by player basis on what card they want want to boost. Now to be honest, I don't know if this feature would come within this update because this actually would be a pretty decent change, but I think that this 100% is a feature that we can see somewhere in the near future in Clash Royale. I think for sure by the end of 2021, that'll be something that we see within the game. And so those are really all of the major changes I think we're going to see. This Clash Royale update has incredible potential to be the best update in Clash Royale history, and I think that Supercell is definitely going to deliver and give us a game-changing feature that will forever change how we play Clash Royale.